Okay, the second type of uh, potential energy which you may encounter is the elastic potential energy. The elastic potential energy is coming because if uh, elastic spring is being present in the problem, then uh, that particle would possess some elastic potential energy as well. Okay, now in order to understand this elastic potential energy, first of all, we are going to represent it using symbol VE, where V represents the potential energy and E represents elastic. So elastic potential energy is going to be represented by VE. Okay, uh, just a little question from you people. Uh, whenever a spring is being displaced from its neutral position, yarn stretch position, whether it is being compressed or it is being elongated, dono surto mein, what does the spring force will try to do? Resist the stretching or compression. Basically, the spring force will try to move the spring back to its unstretched position, SAF. Yes, sir. So, whether the spring is being elongated or compressed, that is, whether the spring is being deformed uh, from its uh, unstretched position, the spring force will always try to move that spring back to its unstretched position. So, the elastic potential of uh, any uh, spring is going to be positive once it is being displaced from its neutral position. So, when you have any spring is being displaced from its neutral position, it is being compressed or elongated. In both cases, when you leave that spring or that particle which is connected, the spring force will try to move that spring back to its neutral position. So that's why aapke paas hamesha jo elastic potential energy hai, that is going to be a positive quantity. Because jab jab spring displays hoga apni unstretched position se, it has the potential of doing positive work once it is uh, coming back to its unstretched position. So the elastic potential is always going to be a positive quantity and the magnitude is going to be half ks square where K is the spring constant and S is the deformation of the spring from its unstretched position. So whether the spring is being elongated or it is being compressed, it has a potential of doing positive work once it is moved from that position back to its unstretched position. So the elastic potential is always going to be a positive quantity which is half K square or it can be zero if the spring is unstretched, any object position ke liye analysis kar rahe, uspe spring agar unstretched, to agar spring unstretched, so there is going to be zero potential of doing work due to uh, spring uh, due to the elastic spring. Ke agar spring apni unstretched position pe maujood hai, ab usko chodenge to wo wahi maujood rahega. So the potential of doing work due to elastic spring is going to be zero. So the elastic potential is going to be a positive quantity whenever it, the spring is being displaced from its neutral position. The magnitude is going to be half ks square. Uh, if the spring is at its unstretched position, then the elastic potential energy is going to be equal to zero. Is this point clear to all of you? Yes, sir. So, if we summarize this potential energy, we have potential energy. Ko, hamare paas do ki potential energy hai. One is the gravitational potential energy, which is due to weight. The other one is the elastic potential energy, which is due to elastic spring. The gravitational potential energy can be positive, negative, or zero, depending that the particle is located above the datum, below the datum, or it is located at the datum. So, based on the position uh, of your selected datum, the gravitational potential energy can either be positive, zero, or negative. If we talk about elastic potential energy, ki baat kare, the elastic potential energy is always going to be a positive quantity whenever the spring is being displaced from its neutral position, whether it is being compressed or elongated, dono surto mein the elastic potential energy is going to be half ks square. Uh, however, if the spring is at its unstretched position, neutral position, then in that case, the elastic potential energy is going to be zero. Okay, uh, now the total potential energy as we have defined earlier as well, the total potential energy is going to be represented by capital V, which is going to be the algebraic sum of the gravitational potential energy and the elastic potential energy. So, when we talk potential energy or potential function, ki baat karte hai, toh, basically we are talking about the algebraic sum of the gravitational as well as elastic potential energies. Okay, now the important point to uh, note here is this sentence. Uh, please uh, uh, do read this sentence once. Uske baad thoda sa hum iske upar discussion karenge uh, by considering a very simple example. Ye sentence kehta kya hai? It says that 
the work done by a conservative force in moving the particle from first position to the next position is measured by the difference of this potential function. So the work done by the conservative force in moving a particle from position one to position two can also be measured by the difference in the potential functions at position one and position two. That is u one to two conservative can be written as v1 minus v2. In other words, you can write it as vg <coughs> plus ve at position one minus vg plus ve at position two. So the total potential energy at position one minus total potential energy at position two should be equal to the work done by conservative forces from point one or position one to position two. Now, in order to uh, prove this concept or prove this equation, uh, let us consider a particle which is being shown to you here, which is connected with a string. This particle has a weight of W uh, as shown to you in the figure. So, for example, the potential function for a particle of weight W suspended from a string can be expressed in terms of its position S measured from a datum located at the unstretched length of the spring S. I will tell you that you this particle ka total potential function or total potential energy jo hai wo nikale, it is going to be at any arbitrary position S. This potential energy is going to be Vg which is the gravitational potential plus Ve which is the elastic potential. So you can write uh, it uh, gravitational potential ki agar baat kare, weight is ka W hai displacement your vertical displacement is key s hai. so the gravitational potential is going to be ws and since this position lies below the selected datum jo ke aapke upar ye wale datum hai, this position lies below the selected datum so this gravitational potential is going to be a negative quantity so minus ws jo hai, wo iska gravitational potential ho gaya hai isi tarah agar hum elastic potential ki baat kare to since the spring is being elongated from its neutral position. Its neutral position is here. So since the spring is being elongated, a distance s from its neutral position, so its elastic potential can be written as half k square. And as we have discussed earlier, this elastic potential is going to be a positive quantity. So at any arbitrary position, the total potential energy of uh, this part, uh, the total potential energy is going to be uh, the total energy potential energy of this particle is going to be minus ws plus half k s square. Ye point clear hai, Reko? Is this point clear to all of you? How we have calculated the total potential energy? Yes, sir. Okay. Now let us suppose uh, that this particle is being displaced from position 1 which is this position S1 to a new position which is position 2 represented by position coordinate S2. So the particle is being displaced from position 1 to position 2. Jo uh, the pishli slide pe baat ki thi ke the work done by conservative forces in moving this particle from position 1 which is this position to position 2 which is this position. So it can also be found using the difference in their potential functions at position 1 and position 2 that is V1 minus V2. So as per this equation, <clears throat> as per this equation, what is going to be V1? V1 is going to be minus WS1 plus half KS1 square SIA as per our uh, this relationship. The total potential energy at position 1 is minus WS1 plus half k s1 square. Similarly, the potential function at position 2 is going to be minus w s2 plus half k s2 square. S -I -A? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, uh, work wali jo weight wali terms hai, unko hum ikhatta kar lein. Jo spring wali terms hai, unko hum ikhatta kar lein. So, uh, this minus minus would become positive. So, w s2 minus s1, ya aapki uh, weight wali terms ko ikhatta karne se jo term a jayegi, W S2 minus S1 or spring value terms ko jab aap ikhatta karenge, it would become minus half k S2 square minus half k S1 square. So, agar hum in formula ko dekhe aur apni pichle topic ki discussion ko uh, summarize kare, work done due to weight kya hota tha? W, w times delta y hota tha, work done due to weight, aisa hi hai? Yes, sir. Achha, or work done due to spring force kya hota tha? 
क्या ये जो फॉर्मूला है ये वर्क डन ड्यू टू स्प्रिंग फोर्स का नहीं है माइनस हाफ के एस टू स्क्र माइनस हाफ के एस वन स्क्वायर सो बेसिकली यहाँ कहा क्या जा रहा है कि आपके पास अगर आप वर्क डन की बात करें तो जो कंजर्वेटिव फोर्सेस का वर्क डन होता है उनको आप अगर चाहें तो वर्क डन के बजाय उनके पोटेंशियल फंक्शंस के डिफरेंस की मदद से भी जो है वो निकाल सकते हैं सो दैट इज व्हाट इट इज बीइंग सेड इन दिस क्वेश्चन इन दिस सेंटेंस दैट द वर्क डन बाय अ कंजर्वेटिव फोर्स इन मूविंग अ पार्टिकल फ्रॉम पोजिशन वन टू पोजिशन टू कैन ऑल्सो बी मयर्ड By the difference in their potential functions at position one and position two. So, बजाय मैं work done की form में निकालूं, मैं चाहूं तो उन work done को replace कर सकता हूं potential energies या potential functions से v1 minus v2 से. Is this point clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Okay. Now coming to our conservation of energy principle. Initially, uh, I hope that the blank slide is visible to all of you. Yes, sir. the principle of work and energy says that the initial kinetic energy of a particle plus work done by all the forces in moving that particle from position 1 to position 2 should be equal to the final kinetic energy of a particle ye principle of work and energy hai hum karte kya hai ki isi principle of work and energy se कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी का प्रिंसिपल जो है वो डिराइव करते हैं हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिराइव इट सिंपली हमने किया क्या कि इनिशियल काइनेटिक एनर्जी को हमने इसी तरह रखा ये जो वर्क डन वाली टर्म्स थी इसको हमने डिवाइड कर लिया दो पार्ट्स में समेशन यू वन टू टू बाय कंजर्वेटिव फोर्सेस प्लस समेशन यू वन टू टू बाय नॉन कंजर्वेटिव फोर्सेज ठीक है मैंने फोर्सेज को दो पार्ट में डिवाइड कर लिया Uh, one is the conservative forces the other one is the non conservative forces and that should be equal to the final kinetic energy of this particle so what i have done here is i have divided summation u 1 to 2 into two parts work done by conservative forces and work done by non conservative forces okay now uh, let us suppose that you have a particle which is being displaced from position 1 to position 2 and uh, during that motion from position 1 to position 2 There is no non-conservative force acting on the particle. यानी आपके पास कोई applied force भी नहीं है और आपके पास friction force भी नहीं है. So if there is no non-conservative force acting on the particle, then what should be the work done by non-conservative forces? Zero. Since there is no non-conservative force acting on the particle, so this term which represents the work done by non-conservative forces, it should be equal to zero. Moreover, the work done by conservative forces can be replaced by their potential functions jo ki abhi humne baat ki thi hum is equation se isko replace kar lenge summation u1 to 2 se so it would become v1 which is the potential energy at position 1 minus v2 which is the potential energy at position 2 so humne summation u1 to 2 conservative ko replace kar liye v1 minus v2 se and that should be equal to t2 or rearranging these terms it would say t1 plus v1 should be equal to t2 plus v2 now this particular equation is termed as the conservation of energy principle what does this principle states this principle states that the total energy of a particle would remain constant provided that there is no non conservative force acting on that particle between position 1 and position 2 that is the sum of kinetic and potential energy that position 1 should be equal to the sum of kinetic and potential energy that position 2 provided that condition kya hai conservation of energy ko apply karne ki there shouldn't be any non conservative force acting on that particle during position 1 to position 2 so this is the principle of conservation of energy uh, again अगर हम कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी की बात करें तो आपके पास ये जो काइनेटिक एनर्जीज हैं जो कि ये हाफ एम वी स्क्वेयर होती हैं सो इट मींस कि आपके पास जो वेरिएबल यहाँ काइनेटिक एनर्जीज में इन्वॉल्व है दैट इज वेलोसिटी। अगर मैं पोटेंशियल एनर्जीज की बात करूं तो पोटेंशियल एनर्जीज जो है वो जो कि डब्ल्यू टाइम्स डेल्टा वाई या एस के बराबर होती है और इसी तरह अगर हम स्प्रिंग की पोटेंशियल एनर्जी की बात करें तो उसमें भी हाफ के एस स्क्वेयर आ रहे होते हैं यानी एस इन्वॉल्व है सो आपके पास जो प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी है वो भी आपको रिलेशनशिप शो करता है बिटवीन फोर्सेस वेलोसिटी एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट आपके पास जो वर्क एनर्जी प्रिंसिपल है दैट विल आल्सो गिव यू अ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन एफ वी एन एस 
लेकिन इन दोनों प्रिंसिपल में से जब आपको चॉइस करना पड़ जाए कि आप कौन सा प्रिंसिपल अप्लाई करेंगे तो इट डिपेंड्स के क्या उस पार्टिकल के ऊपर कोई नॉन कंजर्वेटिव फोर्स एक्ट कर रही है या नहीं अगर कोई नॉन कंजर्वेटिव फोर्स एक्ट नहीं कर रही होगी तो देन यू आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दैट प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग द कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी प्रिंसिपल विट बिकॉज इट इज मोर इजियर टू अप्लाई अगर उस पार्टिकल के ऊपर कोई नॉन कंजर्वेटिव फोर्स भी एक्ट कर रही होगी यानी फ्रिक्शन इन्वॉल्व होगी अप्लाइड फोर्स आ रही होगी तो देन यू आर गोइंग टू सोल्व दैट प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ वर्क एंड एनर्जी राधर देन द कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी प्रिंसिपल इज दिस पॉइंट क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू समराइजिंग अगेन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ वर्क एंड एनर्जी स्टेट दैट द टोटल एनर्जी ऑफ अ पार्टिकल वुड रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट provided that there is no non conservative force acting on that particle so you can apply this principle of work and energy on a single particle as well as you can apply that principle of work and energy on a system of particles as well system of particles se kya murad hai ki agar aapke paas usi tarah rope aur pulley ke sath do particles connected hain to then the initial energy of the system should be equal to the final energy of the system provided that there is no non conservative force acting on the system between position 1 and position 2 so you can apply this conservation of energy principle on a single particle or you can apply this principle of conservation of energy on a system of particles as well i hope that uh, the point is clear to all of you